Hi guys, Josh back here again today. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about some more prepping stuff that I've done. Um, not only do I go to the dollar stores, I go to the swap meet, uh, I also go to the thrift stores, um, Salvation Army, places like that. Basically anywhere that would have uh, good deals on items that may not necessarily be important to somebody else, but for a prepper like myself, um, come in really handy. Uh, what I found today was, uh, actually a couple of days ago, this is a little bit... Uh, two or three days ago, I was at the thrift store uh, with the wife, and uh, we were walking around, and I walked in, actually, to the Salvation Army thrift store, and they had this huge rack of maps. Now, granted, these are all Los Angeles area maps, um, a California freeway system, uh, San Fernando Valley, um, but these are all $5 piece maps I picked up for a whopping $0.25 cents each. Um, so there's really good deals uh, that are out there to be had. Uh, these maps are five bucks each, so there's ten, twenty-five dollars in maps. Um, I did also buy some other ones the previous time before that that were some Las Vegas maps as well. Um, I think I paid fifty cents for those uh, each. So you always keep your eye out. You never know what's there. Um, the other thing that I found, uh, we were actually at another thrift store, was this really cool uh, family health and guide uh, and medical encyclopedia. Uh, the production date on this is 1980s, uh, but the cool thing about this is it does have a ton of medical information in there. Uh, it talks a lot about basically the entire body, pathologies, um, medical conditions and illnesses. Um, this one's, uh, let's find one, you know, here's the nasal cavity. Uh, what I really liked about it, though, that kind of really caught my eye was right back here. Let's see if I can find it. It was... I don't know what that is. Um, where did it go? Anyways, there's a first aid section in here, which was really cool. Ah, there we go. Passed it. Um, there's a really good first aid section in here. Um, it tells you all kinds of basic first aid knowledge, how to get rid of snake bites, um, you know, fractures, uh, checking, pro uh, protect severe bleeding, uh, making splints, uh, removing foreign bodies from the eye. Um, different types of poisonous spiders that may be around your region. Then it goes into the encyclopedia here, and it just has a ton of stuff. Not only does it have actual definitions, but it also has diagnoses, um, as well as other uh, medical conditions that may be associated with a certain diagnosis. So say if you have an upper respiratory infection, it talks about that. Um, so this was a really, really good book. I think I paid $6 for it. Um, and it is actually by Reader's Digest, so it's going to be a good book. Um, it's thick. It's really, really thick. It's like an inch and a half thick of medical information. Um, so like I said, as far as it goes, finding stuff like this at the thrift store is really, really good. Um, you just have to take a look around and really take your time and go through them. Um, I was at the same store I got the book at. They had almost a brand new tent for like eight bucks. Um, didn't need it. I thought about buying it a couple times, but I was like, eh, I'll pass on it. Um, so definitely keep an eye out. Keep in mind that thrift stores are full of all kinds of great things that people don't necessarily want anymore, but to a prepper or just somebody that wants information or um, is out to make readiness for the family, it's worth it. You know, California is like only a couple hours away, so having some of these maps are fantastic. Um, so if I don't have the GPS on my iPhone or something were to happen to the system or the grid, I've got maps that are available at my fingertips. Um, and maps are always good to have, so those are always great. Not to mention first aid information. So this is actually going to go into my big first aid chest um, that I'll show you guys later on. So um, be safe. Uh, we all survived the zombie apocalypse apparently, so uh, I will catch you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.